great things today we are going to look at keepers to android keepers to android is a part of the keepers password save for the android platform also keepers to android is an app that supports keepers 2.0 data based files also um keepers to android is a free open source that has in uh password management you know with the amount of apps and services we use it is not unusual to have more than 100 different passwords then the issue now is how can we secure our passwords so keep us to android is a means of securing your password by remembering only just one password which is your master key all other passwords will be secured inside a database and then keep us to android can uh, import a database from a local the, uh, the storage it can also import a file from a cloud a cloud like uh, from google drive one drive drop bus keep us to password can import a file from there how can we use this keep us to password uh, the first thing is to download and install your keep us to password from your store so from your google store you can get your from your google store you search for keep us to password so let's say we type keep us to android so sorry so once we type our keep us to android so at this place we're supposed to see we're supposed to have a uh, install so at that point we have to click on install immediately we click on install that place we have open it is already in our phone it will install after installing your keep us to android you look for it and click on it it will open once it opens it will have two things which is your open file and your create database uh, once you install once it is newly installed it will have two things open file and create new database once you have it so let's uh, see how can we open file or how can we create a new database so to create a new database we have to go to create new database we click on it then at this point we have change location in this change of the location what are we going to do uh in that point what we are going to do is something then this file will this database will be created in the store in the local storage so if you want we can change the storage to another one so you can see if you want we can change it to maybe to google drive or we can change it to any other one using stp on cloud or dropbox and so on so depends on our m so but we want to store uh, our password in our local storage so we'll go back and maintain our storage uh, device then here we have our password so you can input your password and also confirm your password and also confirm your password so you put your password and confirm your password then um, look at here how what can we use what, the function of this is to just to view your password to make sure that what you put is the right one if you click on it it will view your password you can see you also hide it then the other one is a password or uh, password generator and password formation with this you can try to form your password or generate your password also if we click on this you can see we have so many things we have um we, we have the we have the length of it you can see we have eight we can change the length to to be 12 c 16 and so on so uh how can our password be formed look at it you can choose how you can form your password so let's say we want to form our password with uppercase lowercase digit and special 
characters uh, we then click on generate if once we click on generate it will generate the other password if you like you can form other ones depending the one you like immediately you can then click on accept so once you click on accept uh, i think it will now open so you click on accept then we have the password let's view the password you can see it so immediately the next thing is to what you are going to do next is to click on create database you click on it assume you want to use this particular password that means that you have to save it very well so assume that we want to use our own password what are we going to do let's say we want to use our own password so for us to use our own password we now input our password then also confirm the password so then immediately we click on create database the, before we that create the database we have something there you can see this use key file using key file is like it then using the graphics or uh, as we are uh, master key you can also use it as your master key i will treat this one separately so that it will be understood very well so if you click on this it it can take you to choose a file uh, and it can be in jpeg uh, so let's leave it on check so click on create password so immediately you click on create password our password our database will be created so immediately we click on create database so you can see so this is now your database your database is now set for information so you can see we are uh, the database is set for information and so on so our let's okay so let us go back and see we still we are we are still going to treat uh, this so one after the other in our other tutorials so before then let us go and look how can we uh, import how can we import a database how can we import a database so to import a database you click on open file once you click on open file you now choose the database uh, you now choose where your database is installed assume your database is installed in your google drive then you click your google drive if there's other means you install your database maybe you install the database in dropbox you click on the dropbox assume that the database is from a third party app you want to imp import the database down to your mobile you can move through the third party app so assume let's say uh, that we have our database we want to import is in google drive so we are going to click on google drive if we click on google drive then it will now we now take us to choose an account we choose an account we click ok so immediately we click ok so um it will now start click ok our database will be opening so there are things there are so many files so it will take a lot of, okay so immediately you come to your google this is my google drive this is my google drive so depending where you save your own documents where you save your own documents you immediately pick it you immediately pick the file and the you just pick the file once you pick the file then you input your password and immediately the database will be imported down to your mobile so that is the thing it's very easy so our next uh, our next lecture on this will be on how to then will be on how to uh 
input our keys and also which is on how to store or save our password and also on how to download plugins there are so many them plugins like keyboard plugins that will help you in this your key pass to android very beautiful plugins so we're going to look into that in our next tutorial thank you so much